Tonight, the Santa Clara County District Attorney is accusing a man of killing his transgender girlfriend. Investigators say 24-year-old Natalia Smut Lopez was stabbed to death last week at a home in Milpitas. And today, prosecutors charged her boyfriend, 22-year-old Elijah Segura, with murder. Cron 4's Dan Thorne is live for us in Milpitas tonight. He joins us with more from the victim's family. Dan? Well, Grant and Sanaz, this has been a heartbreaking and stunning loss for this family. They considered Natalia a role model for those in the trans community, and they are hoping her death brings about awareness for domestic violence. <laughs> While holding back tears, Kiara Oldie remembers her best friend and cousin Natalia. She was great. I haven't been able to eat or anything. The 24 year old transgender woman was killed last Friday in Milpitas. Her boyfriend now facing charges in her death. She cared about everybody. No matter what they did to her, she always forgave everybody. She was a great. That was my best friend. We did everything together. Milpitas police had found Lopez had been stabbed several times at a home on Hillview Court. Her boyfriend, Elijah Segura, was arrested after he was seen in the apartment with blood on his hands. Lopez's family says she was a beloved drag artist who entertained mostly in San Jose, but also did shows throughout the Bay Area. She literally was just like such an amazing performer. She could just, and she just natural, like since a young age. She did that literally for years. Oldie says Natalia was a victim of an abusive relationship that took her life. The pain never goes away. With time, it, it, the pain is less, but it never goes away. Margaret Petros is the executive director of Mothers Against Murder. The Los Altos-based organization is helping the family with the burden of Natalia's death. Petros says this case is another tragic example of the need for more education around domestic violence. I think we don't talk enough about it. Only when tragedies like this happen, there need to be resources, programs out there. <laughs> Natalia's family, saddened by her killing, is seeking justice. I'm here to so much. Well, right now, Natalia's family is raising funds to pay for funeral expenses. Prosecutors have not given any motive in this killing. Segura is set to be back in front of a judge on Thursday. Reporting live in Milpitas, Dan Thorne, Cron 4 News.